Hi everyone, it's the English Simmer here and welcome back to The Sims 4 Vampires. So in this part what I have planned is Juri is actually gonna try and make another good friend. I haven't really decided who uh, it's gonna be. Uh, well, I might just even like pick a random sim off the street. I kind of don't want to do that though. I kind of do want her to have at least some connection to her friends. Um, so we already have Mortimer as a friend, which is good because that means we can uh, drink from him. Like he'll pretty much allow us to drink from him in, if we ask. As you can see, Persephone is chowing down currently on Mila Munch. She's munching on Mila Munch. Um, so we have Israel Crane, Marcus, who I kind of don't want to be friends with. Lily Feng, I guess we could be friends with. Um, we could go for Lily. I could be friends with Lily Feng. Let's do it. Let's um, try and get to know her a bit better. So, should we ask her to hang out? After we have done this, because I do just want her to make a good friend, and then she needs to get permission to drink from two different sims. Mortimer we can do, and hopefully once we become good friends with Lily, we will be able to do that as well. Come on, please run into each other. Don't glitch out. Oh, Emilio's getting a call. Heard you got a promotion. We aren't... I mean, does she mean a vampiric promotion? Because we don't have a job. So how could we get a promotion? We're gonna say no this once, Anna, just because. I actually want Emilio to be kind of nice this part. Which is weird for Emilio. He's gonna tell the girls that they can go out and have kind of like a night out together without having to worry about the baby. So he's gonna look after the toddler. So I'm gonna say no to that just for now. Okay, Lily, why do you keep walking away from me? Have a deep conversation. Right, you're just gonna talk from there, are you? That's fine. You can talk about dreams, share photos. Ask her to hang out with you. I think they are doing it. And you're just playing chess, are you? She does still need to convert people. We will be doing that as well. I keep saying it, but we're already friends with Grace. You know what? We might just do it now. Um, so we're going to invite Grace to hang out because we want to change her. Also, you need to change your outfit. I don't know why you're like in your PJs in the middle of the town, but apparently you want to be. So these two will hopefully become good friends. Uh, tell an engaging story, tell a funny story, get to know her a bit. Let's just do it. Please just become friends. And is she coming round? Yes, she is. So Grace is over here. So if you guys don't know who Grace is or have forgotten, remember the really hot gym trainer that Emilio turned? Well, he is Grace's husband. They're a very well-off couple, um, as you can probably just tell from the way they look, to be honest. Um, they are very well off and this is her. She's stunning and she obviously knows that he is now a vampire. So she wants to live an eternal life with him. However, they're kind of two separate different vampires. So I don't know how well it's going to work. I don't know whether it's going to affect their love life at all. But Persephone has been trying to put her off. So we are going to recall our mortal life just so she knows what she's missing if she does turn into a vampire but you know what she's been bugging us and bugging us she knows that James is a vampire so she kind of just wants to get it over with but Persephone has kind of been putting it off for a while she's like I I wouldn't wish this upon anyone like I wouldn't want you to have this um but she's not taking any of it so I guess we'll discuss interests with her we just got to get to know her a little bit more and we can just turn her into a vampire. But I kind of don't want to do that. I mean, she does say, she has been saying that she wants, you know what, we're just going to do it. We're just going to turn her into a vampire straight up. Oh, here we go. This is our fourth one. So we have converted four out of five. She's almost finished. Like, she's not far off. Jory, can you fly to your home? 
I don't think she's going to become good friends with her. <laughs> Fly hair is a bat. Before our child wakes up, anyway. Um, joke about politicians. Come on. we just got to get this up. We've got this. They are friends. We just need to become good friends, which hopefully will happen. I mean, they are fairly close. We aren't going to flirt with her. That's definitely not something we are going to do. No, thank you very much. Right, what's our relationship currently? They are... How are they still only acquaintances? I swear they were friends because we gave her a friendly introduction. Like... They can't just be acquaintances. That makes no sense whatsoever. Also, we kind of need to get rid of this crib. How's the baby doing? She's like fully rested and it's like 9 p.m. So unfortunately, I don't think these two are going to become good friends. I think this might be glitching out because she's definitely more than an acquaintance. Like their relationship is not going up at all. So I might just have to cheat it. Oh, she's feeling hungry. She's sad from grungy. Um, so we are going to get the parents out of here. You actually just need to like eat a plasma fruit or something. And then we are going to travel, get those two out of here. And Emilio's going to take care of the baby. I honestly don't know if I would trust Emilio to take care of my child personally. But I mean, he is her niece. So I doubt he would... He wouldn't wish any harm upon her. Like, even though him and Jory don't see eye to eye, Persephone is his sister at the end of the day. And as long as she's happy, then he's okay with it. Um, so he definitely wouldn't wish any ill will. But we are going to go to the nightclub. We're going to go with Persephone. You know what? Let's have a girls night. They deserve it. You definitely aren't coming. We'll invite Eliza Pancakes for the hell of it. And you're apparently a friend, so we'll invite you. Boom. Let's go for a girls' night. We aren't going to be sticking with the girls, don't worry. I'm just getting them out of the house. Uh, that's why I'm going through all of the um, travelling. And then we'll flick back to Mr. Emilio and <laughs> see how he's going to get along with babysitting. I mean, I don't know. Oh, why is she embarrassed? Hold your horses from successful, unsuccessful romantic thing. What? What was unsuccessful? Oh, well, it's gone anyway now. So let's switch control back over to Emilio. I know, all very switching it up here, but... It's gotta be done. We gotta get this done. I really just want to see how he's going to interact with the child. Okay, so he's gonna go put Carmilla down in her uh, in her chair. So that's good. Oh, she's like super smelly as well. Oh, I keep thinking I'm doing like super speed, but I'm not. Oh, Persephone made her cereal. So that's good. So she's going to eat her cereal and then we also need to give her a bath as well. He's like straight out of there though. He's like, I ain't hanging around to watch this child like mess up. Also, I did change her eyes back to the green because loads of you requested it in the last part. So I've made her eyes green again. She is a vampire. You can even see from, oh wait. Oh no, this is a vampire. When she's like not on red, this is like the little vampire symbol that he has. So she is a vampire. Also, when I went into create a sim, there was um there was a vampire around her needs. So she's feeling proper grungy. So we're gonna take her upstairs, give her a little shower. We are gonna give Carmilla a bubble bath. Bless him. He's actually he's he's working on it, you know. He's definitely working on, and probably not working on becoming a better person, to be fair. I mean, it's Emilio at the end of the day. He's just ah, trying to prove that he can actually uh, do some good. Oh, we need to, I think we need to have a bigger space. So I think I need to... What's it intersecting? I don't understand. I'm so confused. Let me move that towel rail then. Get rid of that. And then that can go there. I think we just need more room for him to bathe her. So let's just put that there. Let's just get two of these. Boom. There we go. 
and go give her a bubble bath once again let's try it yeah he's still like plotting to overthrow vlad at this point so he's just no, trying right, to yeah. prove to himself that he can be all right you know he's not bad at all times even though people say he is i mean he's not like dracula like people aren't terrified of emilio but he's also not like the best person in the world which we all know he's a little bit psychotic but he's he's all right with his family i guess that's the most important thing as long as you make your family life happy then you're all good but this is actually really cute my heart is like aring on the inside it's like oh this is just so adorable look at her in the bath i find anything that toddlers do adorable though like i think it's just so cute their giggle the animations that they have. We also need to try to potty train her, so that's gonna be fun. Look, there we go, she has the vampire needs, so we can tell that when she does age up into a teenager, she is gonna have vampire powers. Um, I'm fairly sure that's when vampire powers start developing, is when they're teenagers. Right, let's go try and potty train her. Let's see how well this goes. I can imagine her just like, pooing in her nappy or like him forgetting to take her nappy off her before she goes to the toilet and then her just like grabbing the poo out of it and throwing it at his face or something like that i feel like she would just wind him up but he's definitely gonna be a doting uncle which i wasn't expecting but even like without me telling him to do stuff like even when she was a baby he would go change her diaper if she needed it or he'd give her a bottle if she was crying he would be the one to go through like all the steps with her you know how some sims do they like shush you and then if that doesn't work they feed you and then if that doesn't work they change your nappy so he was kind of the one to do that in this who are you why are you here excuse me did you just like glitch into our house no she's not here which is good bella's just roaming around that bella goth She's so cute. She keeps giggling. Oh my goodness. I love her so much. Right, come on. Potty training takes so long. That's one downside to toddlers for sure. Is that... Oh, there we go. She did trump. Did you do it? Did you do a poo? Are you excited? You want to build some blocks? I mean, we can do that. Uh, let's teach shapes to Carmilla. Do not go play in that toilet. I've been humble? I've been sent to look after you. Oh, oh she doesn't want to do it. She's like, no, Uncle Emilio. I don't want to do that. Oh, when did you two get home? You two? You, you weren't out very long, were you? Blooming heck. I have no idea when they got... No, don't go and watch. You do, like, go have fun with each other. There you go. Go do that. We got the baby. We're all sorted. No. Oh, he's getting a little bit angry. Oh, she's following him. She's copying him. He's like, right, come on, just do it. <laughs> Emilio, you can't lose your temper with a toddler because she will just copy you. And then her mums will know that you've been teaching her these bad habits. Like stomping her foot on the ground and saying no. Blooming heck. He's like a big kid himself sometimes. He's just like a stroppy teenager. It's just what I imagined. Oh, she doesn't like aliens, apparently. Oh, I thought those two were having a bat woohoo, but they're having a, a full-on woohoo session, so I'm going to leave it to them whilst we look after their child in the next room over. Romantic or what? <laughs> but Emilio, you know, he's, he's determined. He's determined to do this right. He wants to be the cool uncle, okay? He wants to be the one to teach her things, which I feel like he definitely would. But it would probably, like I say, be things that her parents don't want her knowing. Like, he'd be like, so, your mum likes to suck blood. And he'd be talking about, like, her origin and everything like that. It's so funny. I love it. I love imagining little stories of what my sims would say. I want to keep you two away from her. There you go. They're both sleeping. That's good. You both do need to sleep and then you can have a bath and relax. Oi! I said you both need sleep. Actually, you don't need sleep because you're vampires. Uh, but you do need a bath, so you can take a bubble bath. 
And you, missus, you also need a bath. Stop! You know what? I'm gonna lock this. Emilio's like, no, you're all trying to interrupt. You don't trust me. So I'm gonna lock this door. Lock door for everyone but Emilio. <laughs> so basically the kid's trapped in here, but we can take her out. I mean, when she actually needs to do something, we will take her out. Emilio's crying. He's like, this is too stressful. You're all just stressing me out. Why are you like this? Okay, so she now can't get in here either. There isn't a bathroom downstairs. There is a bathroom, but no shower. However, someone pointed out that vampires actually don't need to go to the toilet. So we really only have a toilet for guests who come to our house. So what we can do is put another bath in here. I can't believe I never noticed that. Although we're not really... We'll keep the toilet upstairs then and then we'll put in another bath because I honestly didn't even remember that. The fact that the legit only reason we had a toilet was for guests and guests don't come around here very often because we're vampires at the end of the day and I don't think many people want to hang out with us. So we got a new bubble bath. A bubble bath? <laughs> We got a new bathtub, not bubble bath, but thank you to the person who reminded me about that. That was really kind of you because I clearly had forgotten. So she's thinking level two, potty level one, movement level one, imagination level one, and communication. So we're going to try and teach her to talk a little bit now. How's her... Uh... Okay, so she's playful uh, because she's been building some blocks and also had a bubble bath. And let's try and teach her how to talk. Wait, wait, wait. Calm down. Teach shapes. No, I don't want to do that. Where's teach to talk? There we go. That's what we're going to do. Right, come on. No, you're not going downstairs. More choices. Friendly. Teach to talk. Get back in there, Amelia. <laughs> What's she doing now? Oh, she's just waiting for him. Oh, she's having a dance, actually. Or oh, she said she wanted to have a dance. But they are going to learn to talk. Let's see what he's going to teach her about. Okay, so she knows what building blocks are. That's good. Pizza. Everybody needs to know about pizza. Even if you're a vampire, which you are, you still need to know about pizza, okay? I wonder if there's like... Imagine if there was a plasma fruit pizza. There probably will be. I mean, not in the game, but in like this universe of vampires. There probably is a pl plasma fruit pizza. Although I can't imagine it being that nice because it would be like... I'm making myself ill, but I'm going to tell you guys because I just had an image in my head. And I also want you guys to suffer, suffer through it. So imagine just like... Do you know, like, black pudding, how it's, like, blood clots? I'm fairly sure that's what black pudding is. That would be, like, the base. And then you just have, like, blood as the sauce. And then you just have, like, plasma fruit as, like, the extra topping. That is disgusting. Why did I even think of that? I'm going way too deep into this vampire universe. Although... I mean, I bet that sounds delicious for an actual vampire. That would be like heaven for them. What are you two doing? Still having a shower and stuff? Why don't you guys watch a film? You never relax. Like, you legit never relax. So why don't you watch Sims of the Dead with Persephone? Have a cuddle. You both had nice baths. It's time for you to chill out, put your feet up, and watch a film together. Not very romantic film, given, but they are both dead, so, I mean, I guess it kind of, it's kind of a film made perfectly for them. Reach communication level two. Camilla can now hug and hit others. She can also learn animals from flashcards with animals. Okay, she's getting a little bit hungry, but not, like, super hungry, so we're just gonna continue to teach her to talk. Emilio's actually taught her quite a lot of stuff in this part. I'm like impressed with him. Why don't you also do the animals one? Go for it. We're on a roll. She's actually listening to us. So we are gonna, oh, da, 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 flashcards. We're gonna teach her animals. She probably won't want to do this now. She'll be like, no. Oh, 
surprisingly, she was okay with it. Oh my goodness, I think Emilio is actually getting somewhere with this child. Oh, they're friends. That's so cute. Are you two still watching your film? Good. Why don't you... Mm, mm, that sounded... That's, I'm sorry, that was such a gross noise. That sounded like such a pervy noise. I was like... Mm. I didn't mean it like that. I was just, I was about to say make out and then it kind of didn't come out. So I just made a really disgusting noise that sounded gross. So I do apologize. <laughs> Let's make a flirtatious joke. There we go. Those two are watching a film and having a mm, session. <laughs> I'm so disgusting. It's actually gross. Oh, he's teaching her about bears. He's teaching her about the big boat wide world, isn't he? A crab. Oh, she doesn't like crabs. Oh, nope. That's not a dinosaur, unfortunately. I mean, kind of has the same, like, hard outside, outside shell. But unfortunately, not a dinosaur. It's not a goose either. It's not a goose. How did that crab just turn into an owl? Oh, okay. Now he's got an owl. It's an owl. No, wrong. It's not a bear. It's an owl. Jeez, child. How do you not know this? Owl. It's an owl, okay? You got this one. It came up last time. Told you what it was. I already told you what it was. It's an owl. Emilio, don't laugh at her. Oh my goodness, she's going against me. A fox. Fox. No, not a bear. Seriously, how can you think every animal is a bear, Camilla? How are you doing this? Get it together, child. Can she, um... Oh, she's feeling angry because she's got... She's got low hunger. Oh, I like how she can just go through the flipping doors. However, she can't get out whilst holding Persephone... Be, uh, whilst holding Camilla because she can't fly as a bat when she's got the baby in her hands, so... I mean, you may have found a loophole in here, but there's no loophole to get out of it. So, joke's on you, missus. You thought you were clever. You thought you were tricking Emilio. But you know what? He knew better. But I am going to let everyone out now. So, let's unlock this door because she is getting hungry. And Emilio kind of got carried away in the art of teaching her new things and got way too overexcited and... Kind of maybe forgot to feed her, but we are going to feed her now. Don't worry. Persephone, it's fine. We got this. Your child is honestly safe with me. I wasn't going to let her starve. I was maybe going to let her try a plasma pack, but now that you're watching me, I won't. I'll just give her normal food, animal crackers, right? That makes for a healthy breakfast for a toddler, correct? Anyway, guys, I am going to end this part here. I hope you all enjoyed it. If you did, Give it a big thumbs up. Leave all of your comments and suggestions down below. Thank you for the feedback and the comments and the suggestions on the last part of this video. They really, really do help me on what you guys want to see in my Let's Plays. So definitely let me know if you want to have me play as part as Anna. Maybe take down Vlad in the next part. Turn someone else with Persephone because we still do need to figure out her lifetime wishes. Um, then do let me know. But thank you guys so much for watching and I will speak to you all in my next video. Bye guys.